Uh, a few years ago, you, you directed a documentary, Seymour, an introduction mm -hmm. about concert pianist Seymour Bernstein, mm -hmm. who, who, who gave up playing in public because at the time he had crippling stage fright, which you were experiencing yourself mm -hmm. too, a form of that. Um, your conclusion from knowing him is that most artists are not nervous enough. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at the world. Get nervous. Do a better job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, you, you, mean, you mean not there are, but look at the world and your response to the world. Should, you, it should be a response that's driven by the need of the worry. What Seymour, it's really, it's not my line. It, it's what Seymour says is that, you know, excellence at any field, you know, uh, it is so exciting to be in, uh, our, let's talk about Sir Tom Stopley, right? Sure. I did this play of Tom's, it was actually three plays. When we did it in total, it was nine hours long. It's called Coast of Utopia. And after the first run of this nine hour play, Tom said, uh, Ethan, at the end of act one, scene five, your line is, well, comma, that won't do, or is it, well, that won't do? And I said, oh, uh, I don't know. Let me go see. And I flip it back, and I come to him. And I said, oh, you know what? It's, well, comma, that won't do. And he said, yes, I know. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you just got to love it. And you know what? The next night I went, well, that won't do. <laughs> Huge laugh. Huge laugh. And I don't know why, but well, that won't do. Got no laugh. And well, that won't do. Bam! <laughs> Hit the roof. And the guy knows what he's doing. He could hear the music. He hears the music. And there's a rest there. Uh -huh. And I'll give you, it, 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 it's amazing. I didn't know who this guy was. He's since become famous as a British actor named Mark Rylance. Sure. Great actor. He won the, yeah. Well, if I had said that 10 years ago, nobody would have applauded. It, it, most people wouldn't have. He, he ran the Globe Theater for a long time in England. He wasn't really interested in movies. Recently, Spielberg has kind of discovered him and given him the parts he deserves. But years ago, I mean, uh, I'm 30 years old. I just did the film of Hamlet. And they're doing a big benefit at the Globe Theater. And they have all these stars doing Shakespeare soliloquies at the Globe Theater, right? Yep. And they say, I'm in London, they say, would you come in and do it? Because you played Hamlet, would you do a speech from Hamlet? And I was like, sure. And I show up at this thing, it's Paul Schofield, Judy Dench, Vanessa Redgrave, Simon Russell Beale, blah, 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 right? I mean, it's the greatest British actors in the world, and they're all so good. And this guy, this nincompoop, artistic director, Mark Rylance, who I'd never heard of, right? He goes, you know, Ethan, it'd be wonderful. Vanessa will do the speech from Charles and Cressida. Ethan, you'll come on. You'll do To Be or Not To Be. And then Paul Schofield will come on and do a piece from Lear. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know. He's like, can I talk to you? And, and he says, yeah. We go outside. I said, look, are you, are you fucking with me? <laughs> I'm supposed to come out after Vanessa Redgrave and do To Be or Not To Be, and then Paul Schofield's gonna come on and then we can all talk about how bad the American was? Is that the plan? I mean, you know, and, and, um, and, you, know what, and you know what he did? It was awesome, he goes, oh, okay. Uh, who should, who should go between them? Who deserves to go? I'm like, mm -hmm. a British actor? British actor deserves to go. Why? No, young people aren't allowed. You don't want that experience? What do you mean? I said, I mean I'm nervous. Mm. And he said, all right, this is what you do. What's the first line of to be or not to be? Right? I said, to be or not to be. <laughs> right? and, he, and, and he says, no, it's not. The first line is, now I am alone. And I'm like, oh, yeah, all right. He goes, very important. Walk out on stage, say, look at everybody in the eyes, and say, now I am alone, and wait until they laugh. 
I'm like, they're not going to laugh. Why is that funny? And he goes, I don't know, but I've done 700 performances, and it gets a laugh. Right? And he said, and when they laugh, say to be or not to be. Don't let them hear it. They missed it. They'll stop laughing, and then they'll start listening. And then just go as fast as you can. It'll be over. And, uh, okay. and I'm talking about excellence, right? There's a thing yes. called excellence, yes. being good at what you do. We don't all have to be good at the same thing. But this guy put hours into this and thinking about it. And you know what, damn it, it is funny. If you actually look around the room and say, now I am alone, they just start to giggle because you're not alone, right? I mean, you're not fucking alone. And then if you get rid of the famous line yes. and it's over, they actually don't know the rest of the speech. I mean, you right, know, right, everybody right, right, knows right. that they don't go, oh, to be or not to be. But if they miss to be or not to be, they'll get it. Shakespeare repeat. It, it rep reprises. Don't worry. The theme will reappear. And uh, man, I'm so glad I did that, you know? And it's just, it, I, I say that, you know, there is a thing in my profession that is true about Sir Tom and Sir Mark that those people... Dom, Judy Dench, uh, Kristen Scott Thomas, you know, they put in the time, you know, and, it's, yeah. and, and our young people are often not asked to put in the time, yeah, you know, yeah. they're often, and, and if we all prioritize making money, then you have these 22-year-olds that think they're somebody because they're making money, or they think they know what they're doing because they're making money, and they don't know what they're doing, they're not wrong, they're not doing, they shouldn't know what they're doing. If the craft is worth doing at all, it should take time to do, right? They're, I'm not blaming them. They're, they're, I'm blaming us. Mm -hmm. you, you know, creating a culture of what we respect. And if all we respect is what you look like or mm -hmm. how much money you have, mm -hmm. then we're diminishing our attempt at excellence, right? You know, so. If you can't tell, I have four kids and I have to think about this crap all the time.